In my last video, I modeled the anchor for my uh, marine or nautical themed birdhouse. And I've decided I want to add a couple more props. So I'm going to make a really simple um, rope ladder. And because this is a cartoon sort of style or, you know, something that you'd make in your uh, woodworking shop and put out for the birds. And these are sort of plastic things just glued on. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that's great for me. All right. So uh, here I am in Blender 2.8. I've just deleted everything else from my scene. And I'm going to create uh, the rope part first. So Shift A, Mesh, Circle. And I'm going to switch this to 6 vertices. I'm going to look from the top. And I'm going to go Shift D. I'm going to pull this down and over so that these vertices are inside the big circle. And I'm sort of overlapping on the Y axis. It doesn't have to be too exact. Shift D. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to pull it over and somewhat match it. Okay, so I'm going to get this kind of thing with overlapping circles. Select them all and Control J to join them. And go into edit mode and make sure you're in vertex selection. So I'm going to delete now just these middle vertices right here, X vertices. That leaves these two and these two and these two. I'm going to box select these, M center, merge at center, deselect. Box select these, M center, deselect and box select these m center and deselect go back into object mode all right now before i do anything else come up to object set origin geometry to origin so it's sort of off to the side now come over to the modifiers and choose screw leave it on z but for this value here i'm going to choose eight and for the number of steps, I'm going to choose seven. That'll reduce the resolution of the thing. And that's going to look a little bit like, like rope. Let's rotate Y90 and scale it down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and apply the screw modifier. I want to array this to increase the length of my rope in the X. But because I've rotated and scaled it, I'm going to go Control A, apply rotation and scale. And now I can just choose this and it'll default to X, choose merge, and I can just add as many segments as I as I need. Okay, so that's that's the basic rope part. Now I want to make a rope ladder. And I think I'm going to have this hanging up like on a hook in about four or five steps, small rope ladder to put on the birdhouse. So I think I'll do this with, I'll do this with curves. So I'm going to choose a path. And I'm going to scale this out. And I'm kind of making it as long as the rope I made here. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to take that path, shift D. And I'm going to imagine that these are the two sort of sides of my of my ladder. I'm going to select both of them and go Control J to join them and go into edit mode. And then I select the two end of vertices and go F to make a face. And already it's rounded out. Now, this is a little bit odd for trying to hang this. You're going to have to pinch this a bit. But before we do that, let's just take this and let's apply a curve modifier and choose that slide this into position over there a little bit and we'll start pulling it up i'm going to add more segments on the array so that it follows the curve like that i'm not going to worry about making it exact right now um i might want to scale this down a bit more and then add more segments and hope it sort of looks like rope Okay, but it's not too high poly. Um, before we go any further, let's select everything. Let's look from the front, rotate Y90 minus, and rotate Z90, and then just G and grab, and sort of get it roughly in the middle. It makes it a little bit easier to work with. Okay, 
I am going to just adjust it a bit more. I'm going to bring in a cube to use as a step. And let's scale this in the X and in the Z. And just keep manipulating it until you think you have what looks like a step for a ladder. I'm going to add a bevel. I'll go for two segments in 0 0.02. Let's look from the front and see. Let's try adding an array in the Z. So put 0 for the X and try. Let's say I get four steps. Okay. in the Z, it might make them thinner, and that'll allow me to spread them out a bit more. Yeah, let's do that. And then from here, it's just a question of adjusting the curve. Now what I'll do is I'm going to um, select the curve down here and go into edit mode. I can still see my rope. What I might do is select those top points. Let's try this. Right click, subdivide. I've added another point, and let's try pulling that up. All right. Let's try pulling, selecting all of those, and pulling everything down. And then pulling that up again. Does, does it look like it could be hanging on a hook like that? We try some more. Um, let's just do this. Let's just keep doing this. And then let's take everything and pull it down. Is it too much rope on that end? Okay, let's now um, pull this down. Well, I just want to pull it actually under the step. I'll show you this. I got something else I'm going to be doing. Add segments and then try to get it pretty similar. Okay, well, before I go on any further, I'm going to add another piece a circle. I'm going to go for 12 this time. Control 7 to look from the very bottom. I'm going to scale it down a bit and pull it under the rope so it's pretty much in the middle of the rope and that's good enough for now okay then we're going to go e and s oh in the edit mode e and s and then i'll do grid fill and then i'll select this edge and extrude it down select that and control b to bevel i'll put one or two segments in there and shade smooth and that should be good enough from a distance i think i want it taller though and what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull this up to here look from the front get it roughly in the position that i want and then i'm just going to duplicate it over to this side Close enough. Okay, I'm going to join those and set the origin right in the middle. Shift D, and I'm going to copy it to the next step. And that's what's going to hold the rope or look like it holds the rope. Now, this top one may give us some trouble because the rope starts to bend. I think it might be okay, or we can make it play with that. But for now, we're going to leave those there. I'm going to select them again. Shift D, and I'm going to rotate X, not Z, rotate X 180, and I'm going to just pull them under this time. So it's going to look like that. All right, now, and this is the part that takes some, some work. So I think what we'll do is we'll grab the curve again, and if I bring this down, um, 
And actually, if I bring these up, that'll straighten it there. And I think I'll go for just something like that, and then we'll put a hook. All right. So let's see. Man, I wonder if I can get rid of a segment. We'll try that. It could be like that. Yeah, it could go like that. Okay. Mm, yeah. All right. You can play with it as long as you as long as you want to. So let's take that whole thing and let's go Control C to copy it, and I'm going to bring it into my other scene. I'm going to control V, and it's quite large. Before I do anything with it, I'll select it. I'm going to move to a collection, new collection, and I'm going to call this rope. Scale it down. Rotate Z90. thinking I would make a hook and hopefully it'll look like it's hanging on the wall uh, let's let's give that a try um, yeah okay let's see if I do this if I just select just that and then shift H everything else is hidden and shift a bring in a plane Scale it, slide it under here. Oh, you're nowhere near that, are you? Okay. There's one way of making a hook in here. Um, do, 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 do. Let's say we take, uh, let's just merge those at center and merge these at center. And it keeps it kind of central. Front. Okay, come on up to here. Okay, let's take this piece, extrude up, let's bring it back though, and extrude out like that. And this just a little bit like that. You sort of see that would be like a hook. And what we'll do is I'll take all these sharp parts and then Shift Control B, pull, and just give maybe three segments is enough. All right, I'm going to convert this to a curve. And over here, I'm going to, under geometry, I'm just going to start bringing up the bevel depth like that. Shade smooth. Let's bring everything back. Now this, I'm going to put that under rope. I'm going to right click, move to collection rope. So that I can just select this stuff and I can I can mess with this okay let's come back to this okay I can still adjust this I'm gonna do that and uh, from the front I'm going to say I select this I'm gonna pull it back and of course we're gonna have it not quite so thick and maybe not quite so tall either so I can grab these points and pull them down. And these points were not but without those ones. I can pull it in. I can also go control one just to smooth it a bit. Okay, how how does that look? Let's pretend that it was going to be in here. Mm, I find it tall up here. But whatever. 
it's just a prop so you get the idea of how to make it so let's go with that um in fact i could take the whole thing let's try this scale it all down just a little bit okay let's take it out again let's take this piece and under the curve part let's change that to three and let's convert this now to a mesh and come in and it's a little bit high poly oh well let's have to close that <clears throat> control b to bevel and over here let's um let's just um, let's see uh e and s do a big thing like this straight back and uh, just take this edge and bevel that edge we'll probably need an edge to, well actually I don't think we need that one but I think we'll need an edge loop here make sure it's smooth okay let's take rope select and bring you guys back in Just for now, let's hide this curve. We can apply that if we wanted to. You know, that's the idea. Just like a little prop. All right, let's go over to here. And for the rope, I want to choose this to this white shiny material. For the hook, I want to choose that metal that I used for um, the chimney. <laughs> and for these, I want to choose the wood and they are already UV unwrapped, so that's fine. So I'm going to select um, all of these pieces here. And then I'm going to select the wood last and control L and choose materials and put that on there. And uh, that's basically what I'm going for. a question of if I was to increase the array by one But I, I feel like mucking around with this a bit. And so. Mm -hmm. and that's the, always the problem. Uh, and so one thing we can do is we can subdivide here. We can subdivide here. And we can try just doing this. Well, let's, let's bring it to here. And let's reduce the, I see, okay. You know, maybe that'll look better. Maybe it won't. This is quite a large hook, but. I don't know if I improved much. But That's the general idea, anyhow, of how you could how you could make that. Cool.